Welcome to today's episode of Inside Connected Simple Club. I'm Roger Firstenau, account executive and networking nerd. My co-host Stephanie is on vacation this week, and while she's out reliving her favorite Civil War battle somewhere in Pennsylvania, I'm here with a special guest friend of mine, uh, met at church years ago, and he's a business owner. Like you said, he's a friend. Welcome Mike Kramer from Legacy Salon Day Spa. Mike, how are you? I am great. Thank you for having me. Legacy Salon and Day Spa is a family-owned small business located just west of Milwaukee in Hales Corners, Wisconsin. Legacy specializes in hair, nails, massage, facials, makeup applications, airbrush tanning, and more. With over 25 chairs, stations, and rooms available, Legacy can accommodate groups for bridal parties, bachelorette parties, and girls' night out events. To view our full list of services and packages, or make a reservation, visit us at Legacy Salon and Day Spa.com. Legacy Salon and Day Spa, where making you feel beautiful is a family tradition. Good to see your face again, as always. So, the reason I brought Mike in is not only because he's a friend and a business owner, but he's a client. So, we have a, a number of things we could talk about, including this Friday I'll be at your shop as Mindy gives me my monthly tighten up of my hair, which she always does a great job with. Mm-hmm. So, Mike, tell us about. When you started Legacy Salon, what brought that about? Legacy Salon, 15 plus years ago, I met my now wife and I was probably in between jobs or working in, have a, I have a background in sales and marketing and she had a daughter that was just graduating from cosmetology school and she wanted to expand into a salon and day spot. She's always wanted that. That's my background. I helped her with that and uh, the rest is history, as they say. So you have no previous experience in the salon industry at all? No experience whatsoever. <laughs> all right. It's all Mindy. <laughs> so it's all Mindy, and Mindy's the one who drives, the, drives that part of the business. Yes. So that was 15 years ago? Yes. Okay, so you started as a salon just doing what? What services? We were just doing hair and nails. It was just her and her daughter. Um, and then I was going out trying to help grow the business. So yeah, that's how we started in a small little room. We moved to a bigger location, which is an old Victorian house, which we spent remodeling over and over again as we continued to expand and decided to hire some more employees, which was the real challenge. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So hair and nails just to start. Obviously, if I go to the website now, you got a laundry list of stuff. Talk about that. You've got a lot of services. What do you do? Well, I think that just comes with salon and day spa. That's stuff that Mindy has always wanted to have there. We want to be able to take care of the entire body from head to toe. Esthetician takes care of the skin. Massage helps with the muscles. Um, and then we got the hair and nails. So it, everything that we do has to do with keeping the body healthy. It's not always just about pretty, which is great, but it's also about keeping the body healthy. And not just for gals, of course, because I said, I go yes. there, so you do stuff for the guys. What do yes. you do? Yes, not just for gals, also for the guys. I mean, guys can get sports pedicures. Uh, I get them, and when you're done with those, it's like walking on a cloud. Massages, facials, I get all those as well. Both are for, like, guys and girls. And also get our hair cut as well, and manicures. Nice. So so you mentioned uh, a challenge of, of finding people. Um, any business may have that problem, but you've got a laundry list of services that you offer, which means specialists in a bunch of areas. How do you find your people? We hit up the schools in the area for the people. We go through a pretty intense interviewing process because they got all work with each other. So sometimes we have the employees help with the interviewing as well. When we first started this business, we had a couple of people that we had hired. We went through all the training and everything only to find them gone and leaving. Then we uh, learned from a consulting group that we got a hold of and they kind of taught us a level system and a program that has allowed us to become a teaching salon or mentoring salon. So now the employees come into us straight out of school and we can grow them uh, to become great stylists both professionally and personally. Got it. So again, your background is sales and marketing business side of the world. So you don't cut hair. You don't do that. You don't want me to cut hair. (laughs) Excellent. (laughs) Understood. Uh So So you're running the business side of it. Tell us about some of the things that you have to deal with on the business side. The biggest challenge is the the, probably the payroll, taxes, uh, HR in general. 
It is so hard to do it. You, you don't learn that in school. They don't teach you that stuff, at least not in the school of hard knocks that I went to. So it's, it's trial and error, and I, I keep learning things, and then it's, I don't, add, I don't know the questions to ask, so I don't know where I'm falling into problems until I <clears throat> run into the problem. And then I go to somebody like Roger who has all those answers. Well, we have, well, we have a lot of experts. I don't have the answers, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any. Well, I know a little mm-hmm. bit. I have only one area of your specialty, and then we have experts in all the other spaces. So let's talk about, we do help you right now with, with workers' comp. So yes. workers' comp, again, required by the state. Every company that's got more than three full-time employees, mm-hmm. uh, there's, there's a few guidelines in there. But basically that says, hey, now you need to provide this insurance in case your employee gets injured or ill while on the job. And they don't end up then losing wages or anything like that. So that's that's why it's there, and it's regulated based on what type of industry you're in, and basically by how much payroll you have. So industries, you know, hazardous ones would be maybe you know, maybe you're talking construction compared to a hair salon where you don't have uh, falling beams and exploding, you know, you know, blowing yes. things up. So, so talk about what you know about workers' comp and how you learned about some of those things from our people. Well, I mean, workers' comp, I've known I'm supposed to have it or there's heavy fines if you don't. When I first started shopping around for workers' comp, it was just, here's what it is. They take an estimate of your payroll. This is what you're going to pay. And you go from there. And at the end of the year, we'll work it all out to see what you really owe or don't owe. Uh, working with Roger and the benefit company, uh, I find that I now can pay weekly, which really helps because if I got people on vacation, I don't have to pay for their workman's comp. And then we also get a dividend check at the end, which I never heard of before either. But the other interesting part that I learned over the years is there was different categories, like Roger just explained, based on the severity of their job or the risk factor involved. I, I pay a little bit more for the cosmetologist because they're working with shears, but I don't have to pay for the front desk person as much because they're working with phones. So it really balances it out and helps save my bottom line. And that should have been explained to you as as, as you were first learning about it as a business owner. So, so but I never never was, and I didn't yeah. know the questions to ask. I understood. So, um, how's your experience been with the people uh, from our house? You've talked to a few of us. Yeah, it's been phenomenal. Anytime I've got a question, I call. I get the answers that I need. Um, we make the adjustments necessary and. They keep, also keep me on track. If I tend to fall behind on my weekly, they call up and say, get things back in line. Uh, now I actually have somebody working for me that's taking care of it so I can continue to do the stuff I like to do. Understood. So so you talked about someone helping you out now, so that's one thing to help out with. And, and administrative work, <clears throat> as mentioned, mm-hmm. not something you necessarily learn along the business right. lot, uh, trail that you take. So, so what are some of the other things that you would love to fix or improve or maybe not have to deal with ever again mm-hmm. on the admin side. I mean, the next area we're working on is payroll in general. We've always kind of struggled with that, but it's getting better and that's something we're looking into from the benefit company. Um, and then I'd like to get into some sort of investing of some sort for my employees, 401ks and otherwise. Understood. So again, not me, but we have experts in the house that can do that. So see, I'm going to go back to the services for a minute and, and you know, kind of draw a parallel to what we do here. So you started with hair and nails and you've mm-hmm. expanded to these other lines that you do and, and similarly to what we did at the benefit companies here. We started in one space and we built out to be able to handle a variety of aspects of the admin world that, that business owners have to deal with. So let me ask you this then. Since you did grow that path, you, you went that certain way, is, is there anything you want to add still? Or if you have everything you want to offer, are people asking you for more? What's going on there? It's, you never know. It's at any time you start with hair and nails, but then there's a need for a massage. So you hire a massage therapist. And there's another need for estheticians. So you hire the esthetician. Anytime there's a need along the way, we do a lot of weddings. A bride likes to have her eyelashes done, so we have eyelash extensions. Makeup, we have makeup for the bride. We have airbrush tanning because they like to be tanned. So there's a need for all these things, and it's always it's better for us to have them in-house because then we can train and mentor the people to properly do it the right way. And we can hopefully take care of you as a one-stop shop. Which is, you know, very, like I said, similar to what we do here. We, you know, our boss, Kurt, got tired of referring business away. 
he'd rather <laughs> keep it here. So that's why he kept building it the way he did. Sure. And, and we get that. So yeah. let's talk about last year for a minute. Um, so your industry, one of the most hard hit mm -hmm. nationwide with this pandemic and that the, the regs came down on you guys pretty hard. So talk about how you navigated through that to where you are now, because you had to make changes, even though you guys are safe anyway, you had to make changes with, with how you did your business. You had to obviously keep your people safe. You had to help the clients understand that they're safe. Mm -hmm. Talk about how you navigated that. When we first realized we were about to close, we didn't stop there. We already set some stuff in play. If we close, we're going to do this. Um, one of the things we did is we kept in contact with our employees on a weekly basis through Zoom uh, just to keep them updated on what was happening because we knew they weren't completely following the news and everything like we were. Uh, so we were constantly watching all of that. Then we checked with the CDC guidelines to see what we needed to do. We worked with a um, consulting company that would send us stuff updated constantly nationwide so we could tell what salons were doing across the entire country. Uh, we put all that together and came up with a plan. So the two months that we were off, we spent remodeling the salon, putting barricade walls up in between each station, getting masks and face masks. We opened an e-commerce store to help with some income coming in while we were closed. So we did a lot of things to keep going forward so that when it came time to open, we were ready to open. Our staff was fully trained with all the new protocol that we had put into place. Uh, we put a video together to show the guests what we had done and to explain how safe we were going to be with sanitizing stations everywhere, uh, with our employees constantly cleaning each station in between each service. So all those things came into play. We explained that through Facebook, through our video, through Instagram, through emails, newsletters, however we could do to get that out. I, and then Channel 4 even came in and did a video on us as well because they had heard what we were doing. Safety is always number one for both the employee and the guest. It's the cosmetology field. It's to keep their license, they have to keep safe protocols. Uh, so it's something that's always taught. We took it to the next level and then beyond. Uh, shortages of cleaning supplies we didn't have to worry about because we already had a lot of the cleaning supplies coming in. Uh, we just increased our orders early enough to make sure we were covered on all those things. So, so you mentioned all the ways you kept in touch with your clients, which is way important, understood. Mm -hmm. So so I'm still guessing you probably had folks get a little apprehensive about coming in. Yes. Um, talk about that if you could. We have two rooms that we put together. They're, we call them immune rooms. Um, they're more off from everything else where you can actually close the door and you can be more private uh, so that it helped. But, I mean, the, the ones that were apprehensive, they would call. We would explain to them what, what we've all done. They can come in. We had the guests call from outside before they came in, so it keeps the crowding down. So it, it's just it's up to the guests. I mean, however safe or comfortable you feel, we want to make sure we can cover that gamut for you. Got it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a commercial for Legacy now. Well, I'm going to tell you all the things I like. So why people should consider coming to visit Legacy if they're looking for someone to take care of their needs. I'm going to do that. I want you to do the same thing for your company. So if I miss anything, you better tell, tell them what I missed. I will tell them. But then after that, then I want you to do that for us. I want you to, to give benefit companies a uh, commercial based on what you know. And why would a business owner want to come mm -hmm. and talk with us about what we do? So if I'm talking about Legacy Salon, so I know I've been there for hair. I've been there for massage. They take great care of me there. It's easy to get onto the website, navigate that. That's that's very user friendly. I'm not waiting more than a minute to walk when I walk in to get to my appointment. Folks are always ready for me, um, so the timing is good. The team's friendly. I mean, I met a bunch over the last couple of years, so I know some of them by name, by mm -hmm. face, obviously. So we chat about stuff. So uh, great, friendly staff. As you said, the salon is always being <laughs> kept up. Yeah, it's always in great shape. So no concerns there. And again, get results. I mean. It, Always asking what is it I want to do, and, and most of the time it's just do what you did last time, because mm -hmm. my hair stays on mm -hmm. point. That, that's that's right. what I'm looking to do. So, <laughs> um, so many does great work there. What have I missed? What would you, what else would you say about legacy that I missed? Uh, we're an educational salon. Uh, it's like computers; everything is constantly changing. You have to constantly learn. Our employees have to take four classes a year to stay on ta on task as to what's going on and changing in the industry in cosmetology. 
So that customer service is number one. Uh, we strive for that. We want to make sure that when you walk through those doors, you're a guest coming to our house. We want to make sure you know where the bathrooms are, where the beverages are, and where we can take care of so you can enjoy your experience with us. I should mention too, my daughter comes and gets some work done there too. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So so now now I'm going to switch that and I'm going to ask you to do a commercial mm -hmm. for us. So you use us for workers' mm -hmm. comp as, as we've already talked about, and maybe we can help you with some some things down the road. We'll see how mm -hmm. that plays out. But based on what you know, based on what you've experienced with with the folks here. And you're meeting with some guy that you just met and you're talking about business and he brings up he's got a problem. How would you advertise for the benefit companies uh, or to come talk to Roger? How would you do that? Well, like, like with us, we have many services. The benefit company has many services as well. But the biggest thing is if you've got any questions about anything, don't be afraid to ask them. And don't be afraid to ask the question, what question am I not asking? It's probably the biggest one because they'll explain more things in detail to you and make it easier and they also explain it in English so you can understand it more and so that you're on task and so you can do these things properly and stay in compliance appreciate that so anything else you want to add? well you do you want to do uh, you want to tell them about your website and mm -hmm. where to find you and how would they come to you if they wanted to get some services done so go to legacy salon and dayspot.com uh, you can also look for us on Facebook, on Instagram, under the same name, Legacy Salon and Day Spa. You can book online. You can look at the services. If you want to call, the phone number's on there. Just give us a call. Talk to anybody at our front desk. They'll help you through any questions you may have. Or just stop on by if you're in the area and just say, hey, I just want a tour. I want to check it out. And we can show you what we've all got. We do everything, as, as Roger's explained and we've told you. Weddings to events to just uh, birthday parties. Uh, hair, nails, massage, makeup, come relax, spend the day. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you coming in today and having a chat. Thanks for having me. I will me. see you Friday. Yes. <laughs> when I get my hair cut next. I'll see you Friday. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. You too. Thanks for listening to this episode of Inside and Connected Simplify. Until next week, be well. Find our podcast Inside, Connect, and Simplify in all of the following places so you can listen anytime, anywhere. Go to connectandsimplify.com forward slash podcast to find our entire library of podcasts. You can also find us on Alexa, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon Music, Listen Notes, Google Podcasts, Pandora, and Podbean. Thanks for listening.